In the name of God, the holy and undivided Trinity. Amen. Do not be afraid, little flock. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> what are we afraid of? What is it that's holding us back? Those words for me are as good a definition of what faith looks like as any. Two, two elements. Don't be afraid. I know it's hard. <laughs> Never in the history of fear has calm down and don't be afraid worked. <laughs> it just doesn't work. I know it's hard. But don't be afraid. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. I don't know about y'all, but that makes me feel really good. That gives me a great deal of hope. Because what it says to me, recovering perfectionist that I am, is that it's not about my talent. It's not about what I know. It's not about what I do. It's not even really about what I believe. It is the Father's good pleasure to give to us the kingdom. The nature of a gift is just something given. It's something free. It's something that all we have to do is respond to it and take that gift. I think, though, that here in the year of our Lord, 2022, we're suspicious of the notion of getting something for free. It kind of kicks into this part of our brain that says, well, if it's free, it must not be worth very much. It's like we imagine God on high planning some sort of white elephant sale. It's, oh, this is just cluttering up my house. Like, get it out. I don't need this. I'm going to give it to them. But that's not what the kingdom of heaven looks like. That is not what the reign of God is. It is the best gift that we can imagine. And all we have to do is accept it and take it and realize that we don't have to be afraid that we're not preparing for some final exam on the last day, that we don't have to wear ourselves out, that all we need to do is trust God enough to embark on the journey. Abraham is one of those scriptural models of faith. Abraham probably had good reason to question and good reason to doubt. After all, he didn't know where he was going, but God told him to go anyway. He had good reason to think that he was not going to have descendants of his own. God told him, look at the sky. Just look at the stars. Count them if you can, Abraham. That's how many your descendants are going to be. And I'm sure Abraham set out still thinking, this is the dumbest thing I have ever done. How can I be this gullible? How can I be this stupid? But God's the one who has the last laugh. <laughs> and it's a joyful one. When we come home, when we reach the end, that's what we find. We understand that faith is, as the letter to the Hebrew says, not about knowing the answer. It is more about committing to the journey. It's the conviction of things not seen. We don't see the end of the road that doesn't mean that's not where we're going. And we can trust, trust, trust that God is going to go with us along the way. We can count on it. And that's what sets us free. 
It's knowing that it's not something we earn. It's knowing that we don't lose one iota of God's love when we stray, when we mess up, as we inevitably will. God is going to love us anyway. God is going to bring us home anyway. God is going to break into our reality, and he's going to pry open the door with a crowbar if he has to. I always love that kind of thief in the night imagery for the son of man. (laughs) He's going to break into our house. (laughs) And all we have to do is be there waiting. It sets us free when we realize we don't have to be afraid. The Father's giving us the kingdom. Sell your possessions. Give alms. Live your life courageously and in a way that you would never imagine living it before. Trust, trust, trust is built in to faith. We're not afraid because we trust that God is with us. We trust that God's reality is going to show up, that the bridegroom is going to come home from the wedding banquet and say, Y'all sit down. Let me get you something to eat. Let me serve you. Because we are and always have been part of the family. Part of the family and the household of our Lord. I don't know about you, but that makes me really, really excited and hopeful. It makes me wonder, well, if we let go of fear, if we don't worry about the destination, but focus on each step, focus on where we're being called, where do we end up? Look up at the sky. Just look at the stars. Count them if you can. God gives to us in abundance an abundance of love, an abundance of grace, an abundance of hope, and an abundance of faith. Those are things that we can trust. Those are things that we can build a life on. We're preparing for nothing less than our citizenship in the kingdom of heaven, taking our place within the reign of God and knowing that even if we can't clearly see the end of the journey, we're going to have a really good time getting there. Amen.